Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and uh, today we're taking a first impressions look at something a little different than what I normally do. As you might be able to tell, this is Just Cause 2, and you might be able to tell from the massive chat bar that this is actually the Just Cause 2 multiplayer mod, which has just recently been given Steam support. And by recently I mean it just started today on Steam. And you can see that this is the final beta test, which ends in about a week. So I thought I'd mess around with it a bit, since I didn't actually get into the earlier beta tests for this. Now there's going to be a whole lot of uh, desync and whatnot in this, because this is a 1,000 player server, and it's currently the only server. So shit's going to get pretty silly and hectic. I'm just going to kind of look around and see what I can find. See what people are up to. See what Neon over here is I'm doing. Seems to be a lot of shit going down. Oh, geez. Not what I meant to do. Hard to grapple to this helicopter when he's teleporting all over the place. Well, we could shoot down helicopters all day, but I noticed that there was a teleport option, TP Airport. Because, hey, who doesn't like flying? It's one of the best parts about this game. Alright, load in with all these other people. I can imagine this place is probably pretty chaotic all the time. to find a plane that isn't exploded right now. I don't know if I killed that man or he disappeared. Amidst all this chaos, I am going to find a plane. This is sheer insanity. And it's about what I expected. Aha! That man tried to steal my plane, oh god. How did I launch myself that far? Oh, I actually did get in. But then I ejected myself by accident, because I thought I had fallen off. I guess he didn't appreciate me riding his plane. It does seem that things constantly respawn though, so there's not too much of a worry of not getting a plane. You just have to be patient. 
Or find a better airport, I suppose. There are multiple airports, of course. Alright. The Silver Bolt is pretty much the fastest plane. At least of the regular planes. Not the military jets. So, uh, we should be able to outrun any helicopters trying to chase us. Let's see, where should we head to? We could go to this other airport. Can I set a waypoint? It says mouse one. Or mouse three. There we go. Can I actually... S oh, yes, I can. Okay. So I'm not actually sure which features work in this and which don't. Because, again, this is still a beta, and it doesn't really quite work as intended yet. Uh... Sure. Nope, nope, nope! Didn't mean to do that! Fuck. Aw, <laughs> oh, damn it. Hopefully there's a boat at this oil rig, otherwise we're gonna have to swim. I really don't want to go back to that airport. You can see that there's also random races that spawn in the chat there. Two people just won theirs. Yeah, here's another one about to start. And uh, as you can imagine, the races are kind of a mess, especially the few where the collisions are enabled, because then everyone's just lagging and slamming into each other and you know, having a silly old time. Oh, jeez. Jet just went past. Alright, no heli here, but there should be a boat at the bottom. I'm not sure if you can call the arms dealer here and uh, buy some weapons. I assume you can. People have been mentioning things about getting weapons. Oh boy. Got ourselves a fishing boat. Now, I did turn up the boost. I don't actually know if that's just in effect at all times, or if that's, uh, you know, something you have to actually activate. Oh, there we go. I just got that from the chat. The fishing boat is not meant to go 300 miles an hour. Apparently half of this mod is just being a giant fucking chat room, which I guess is what happens when you put a thousand people in one place. The server wasn't maxed out when I joined, it was only at like 800, but that's still 800 people playing a video game together at the same time.
And it seems like, just like every other game, where you put a bunch of people in a place where they can or have the option to kill each other, they will kill each other in the most obnoxious way possible, such as camping the airports with a military helicopter. Okay, that was probably a bad idea. Now that I've gotten close enough, I can actually see what the 2B command is. Seems to be a bit less chaos here. Still your explosions, but just less of them. I thought I got clipped by that jet, but apparently not. I'm only shooting at these people because I believe they will not solve the problem. There's another air helicopter. As you can see, the people in the chat, just a wonderful bunch. Really the kind of people you want to be stuck in a explosive hellhole with. Alright, that jet just randomly vanished. I guess that's to be expected. that we're actually having more trouble finding a plane here than we did at the other airport where there was more people. So I suppose there are also less planes spawned here. Bye, baby. I'm just gonna stand here and let things happen for a moment. Let's see what's going on back at the other airport. 
other than about a hundred players. I'm not sure if this is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm not I'm really undecided on this. I mean this is some pretty glorious chaos. But at the same time, it's like what the fuck is going on everywhere? Take off this uh, freeloader. Alright, we tried going to the other airport. That didn't go so well. Let's try going to the island from Lost. Oh. Or my plane just despawned. Okay. I don't remember where the other airports are. There's one over here. As I just go through all the buttons trying to remember which one marks it every time. Though I have a feeling there probably isn't an airport where there isn't a hundred people, but uh well, let's skip ahead to this one. While the boosting may make you go faster, it does definitely does not make you turn better. I think that went better than last time. Oceans are probably the only place in this map where you can't see another player at any given time. I also don't know if the military ever actually spawns, or if there's even NPCs? I'm guessing there isn't. That would cause a lot more desync having them spawn all over the map. There, I'm encouraged by the fact that I don't see any dots. Also, don't see any planes or helicopters or anything with which I can take to the air once again. In fact, I don't even see a runway. How do people take off here exactly? Well, no helicopter here. Time for a road trip. Yeah. Off to a good start. <laughs> Where did my bike go? Uh, I have no idea.
God damn it. Still reassociating. Hello there. I'm gonna say reassociating myself with the controls. Airborne again. Hopefully the plane does not despawn. Well, we've got quite a way to go to get to uh, Lost Island, so uh, I think we're just gonna skip ahead. Even amongst all this chaos, you can still have a beautiful, relaxing sunset. I almost forget that there are hundreds of other people all around me crashing and exploding and crashing and exploding again. Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking. We are approaching the unidentified island. I'm amazed that people are really complaining about lag when there are, again, this many people in a server. I mean, it might help them if they, you know, cut the player limit a bit down to 500 or something. Quieter up here. Still a few gunshots, but not quite as many. Let's see if we can get to the top of the mountain. Okay. Boost on snow, kind of hard to control. Really hard to control. I mean, this SUV isn't exactly off road, car extreme. There's actually not much left of it. <laughs> I have no idea what I've done, but I'm apparently going 400 miles an hour through the air. My car is flapping its doors to attain height. I can't even turn the camera down. Also my back lights appear to be flying off. Nope. I think 
we are approaching ground. Very quickly. I have a feeling we're just going to explode on impact. Somehow, I survived that and accidentally fell off the mountain. So I guess we're not going to the top of the mountain anymore. <laughs> we're just going to carry on. I heard there's some party going on over here at the Three Kings Hotel. I believe this is the Three Kings. Check the map. I'm not sure that map is actually accurate, but we'll find out in a moment. I guess one of the Three Kings had three towers, hence the name. I'm sure there's all sorts of other YouTube personalities on here. And a lot of people pretending to be YouTube personalities. Nerd cubed and the like. Oh, this is a casino. This isn't Three Kings. Also, what is making that rumbling sound? Did they crash a jet into the side of it? Oh, it's a waterfall. Well, let's take this bus down the mountain. And you know what? Let's let's use a little bit of boost. Get down there faster. Okay, going well so far. Perfect. They build these buses tough for a reason. Totally working as intended. Whereabouts are we now? Well, now it's a submarine. Oh, jeez. Well, gonna say, I wasn't expecting the boat to be going so fast that it did a front flip.
some gracious man has come by and given me a ride. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I'm not going to look a gift boat in the mouth. And he didn't even teleport out from under my feet. But he is going to crash. There seems to be some custom paint shop vehicles lying around. Beginning to realize that some vehicles can simply not handle going that fast in this physics engine. I am impressed though that the physics engine doesn't just break completely. Enemy located! All units attack on site! Let's get in on a race before we end this. I guess we'll just teleport there when uh, it actually happens. I'm not sure why my skin seems to keep randomly changing. Snow race. This is gonna go well. Especially since I'm not in my car for some reason? Okay. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh. This is bad. Oh. Uh. Do we get a new car? No? Do I have to run? On foot. Um, am I just trapped in race hell? Forever forced to stand here and admire the fact that I have no car? I broke it. Okay. Putting me back where I was before, I assume. actually seem to be a lot here on Skull Island. Or whatever island this actually is called. How's things going over here at the airport? Good still? I 
think I just boosted myself to death. game has decided to dump me somewhere else. It's like, no, you can't be there anymore. Maybe I'll actually find a helicopter here. Nope. That would be too easy. Ah, the Mile High Club. Which is up there. There should be a helicopter or something to take us up there. Without an air vehicle, we can't get enough lift to get up there. For those of you unfamiliar with Just Cause 2, the Mile High Club is a blimp nightclub. As in a nightclub built on a blimp, permanently in the sky. This plane, the helicopter, can give me a ride. Inadvertently or not. I'll just hang out here. Okay, I got different guns from somewhere at some point. Oh. Alright. He just disappeared. Ow. As you can see, it's kind of hard to intentionally kill people. Well, I think that's enough for a uh, quick look. As you can see, shit's pretty crazy. Shit's pretty laggy. Shit's pretty fun. This is the kind of thing where, you know, there's not really any goal or anything. You just fuck around with it and have fun. Assumably, once they add the ability to host your own private servers and whatnot, it'll be uh, a bit more manageable with the lag. Since, you know, maybe less people just sync up with each other. But uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing where this goes. I mean, it's already come pretty far from, I guess, its initial state. It's been in work, under, in work. It's been under development for a while, so they're getting close to making progress here. This final beta week is meant to iron out the majority of the issues before this officially goes up on Steam. So, you know, I'll keep an eye on this and if I find more inter interesting stuff to do, I'll make videos on that too. But until then, this will do it for a first impressions look at Just Cause 2 Multiplayer Beta. Until next time, I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you folks around.
now at least the uh, developers are paying attention. As you can see by this large message they've just posted. Well, now I'm kind of curious if it was actually better before. So I might just jump back into this in the future once it's uh, sorted out a bit sometime later this week.